Hey guys, Kamikuno. Um, in my last video for uh, questions and answer time, I said that I was probably going to answer the rest of the questions for a second question and answer time. But instead, I'm going to do a part two for my number one. So uh, this is probably going to be uploaded a day later. So this is the day later that you're probably watching this. But um, that way I can get everyone's questions that everyone sent in. And again, if there's any extras after I post this video, that will be in the second one. And all those new questions that you guys will send me um for number two next month or so so let's start with the first question for part two um which is super say uh saiyan mexican and his question is why do so many people hate hal jordan it seems he's the one with the cool stories but people keep saying john stewart is the greatest I'm not disagreeing with people for stating an opinion, but why hate Jordan and say he's boring? Because maybe I'm weird, but I don't think he is, and I find him interesting. Um, I personally love Hal Jordan. He's one of my favorite characters. Um, well, one of my favorite Green Lanterns, I would say. He's... I guess he's one of my favorite characters also. I love his series for um, Green Lantern now. I think Jeff John has done a great job with him. But I feel I know where people are coming from when they do like Jon Stewart more and hate um, on Hal Jordan. Uh, because maybe people do like Jon Stewart more because they got to see him in um, the Justice League and say, you know, I really do like this character. And I do like Jon Stewart also. But um, with Hal, I feel like some people think he's, I don't know, kind of... A bad guy, um, kind of an asshole sometimes, um, and I feel like that's how, why people think he is, but I think, I like his character, but I think that's why people don't like him, and like Jon Stewart more, because me, Jon Stewart is a kinder person, like a better Green Lantern, in their opinion, but you know, everyone has their opinions, and I know that other people might like Guy Garner better, or Kyle, you know, so, um, I think everyone just has their different opinions on different Green Lanterns, because there's just so many out there, you know, so, uh, definitely, uh, I don't, I don't know why people hate on Hal Jordan, but that's probably why, alright, so, next one is from Ultimate, uh, Unlimited Production 1, and his first question is, um, what are your favorite superhero video games? And my favorite superhero video games is probably Batman Arkham City, um, Batman Arkham Asylum, Spider-Man games, um, pretty much those. I really do like a lot of the superhero games that are out. I like getting, like, I know they're going to have an Amazing Spider-Man video game. That's actually the poster for the Amazing Spider-Man video game, so I'm pretty excited for that, and that looked kind of cool. So, um, yeah, those are the superhero video games I like. Um, what do you want to be or do when you get older? I'll tell you the truth, this. I would love to do, like, you know, these videos and just comics, something with comics, you know, something with TV. You know, that's pretty much what I would like to do. Um, other than acting, what other talents do you have? Um, if you guys don't know, I have another channel called The Rand Situations where I do acting on it. I do it for Motherverse. Is I play different characters, and that's um, where Unlimited Production is asking this from. Um, so what other um, talents do I have besides acting? I would say this. I, I like reviewing. I think it is a talent that I have, you know, explaining things. I, I like doing that. Uh, I like, you know, talking on the camera. And um, I would say that's my other talent. So definitely, um, that's my other talent. And number six is what does... Uh, not number six. Number... Three, whatever it is. Um, uh, what does a burning marshmallow taste like? Again, if you guys haven't seen my Mother vs. Rand Situation videos, I play a character named Mulligan, and she, um, she's a crazy character, and she bit um, a burning marshmallow. She does not know how to cook, so uh, that's why he's asking that. And um, I have to say, I probably did that scene like three times it was not fun after like it, it's very sticky I would say you pull it off it's it's just a melted um you know marshmallow but it's very sticky and it's very like one piece got stuck in my hair it's very hard to get stuck in your hair I mean very hard to get um the marshmallow out of your hair um again and it's very dirty I would say it's very um sticky and yes it, it was hard to get out of um, my hair and my hands and everything so uh it doesn't, it's not good. It's not, it doesn't really taste good either because I don't really like marshmallows that much. Alright, so next person is Sazamission. 
sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But um, his first question is, who are your top favorite people on the internet? Who do p videos about the same subject like you. Um, I made a video a couple of weeks ago about uh, my favorite reviewers. So if you see that video, I, I name all my favorite reviewers. Again, in the description below, there'll be a link for that video if you haven't checked that out. So they'll be my answers for my favorite reviewers. Um, next one is what shows, if from the same person, Saz Mission, um, what shows will you review after YJ and Core end for the season? Um, I think Cora and YJ are coming back in September, but I'm planning in September and October to do... September, I'm planning on doing Arrow. I'm planning on doing that, because um, that's a Green a green Arrow show, and I'm a big Green Arrow fan. I'm so excited for that uh, TV show. I'm also planning on doing Walking Dead more. I have Walking Dead videos. Um, I would say half the season two, I have reviews for that, so if you haven't seen that, um, go check that out. Um, but I will be doing Walking Dead when it returns. Um, I will be doing retro cartoon, I think. Um, like Batman um, anime series. X-Men Evolution. Um, you know, cartoons. Maybe I've been watching a couple of other TV shows like True Calling I've been watching. So maybe I'll do like those type of shows like sci-fi shows, Buffy Vampire Slayer or something like that. So definitely don't worry. We'll have more TV show reviews. I, I will have more TV show reviews. Um, number three, what is your favorite newspaper comic? Um, I don't really read the newspaper comics that much, so I don't really have a favorite, but... I don't know, so I don't really have a favor for that. Um, next one is, um, what, Echidna or a platypus? I guess a platypus, because, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if you have to pick one, platypus. Um, number five is, what is the coolest thing in your collection? I don't know, I love all my comics. I, I definitely, I can't pick a coolest thing, but I love all my comics, um, and I think all my comics are cool. Um, so, next question from the same person is, what's the coolest place you've ever been to? San Diego Comic-Con. Coolest place. Um, definitely, it's, it's, I love it. I love it. It's just an awesome place to be. And if you've never been there, definitely put on your bucket list. It's definitely a great place to be. And, uh, that's definitely the coolest place I've ever been to. Um... What are some things you like that you thought you would hate? Um, Legend of Korra, actually. Um, I didn't, I never, I never saw Avatar The Last Airbender, and I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, you know, maybe I'll be really confused, but I really end up liking that show, Legend of Korra. I, I actually love it, it's one of my favorites, and I'm glad I gave it a try. Um... Next one is from the same person. Did you like comics or comic cartoons first? I would say, like, it's hard to remember because I've liked comics all my life. Um, definitely, I, I would say cartoons maybe first before I started reading comics and then I started reading comics. So I, I would go with comic cartoons. Uh, same person, X, ever play Uno? My guess is because my, um, uh, uh, you know, my show is called Comic Uno, but, um, yes, I have played Uno, but the show didn't come from, you know, the game. Um, actually, um, it used to be called Comic Duo. I had a co-star with me, um, one of my friends, but, um, he didn't do the videos with me anymore, so I called it Comic Uno because it was one person. I thought it was kind of catchy. Uh, but definitely, I do play, I did play Uno. I have played the game before. Um, number 10, answer your favorite movie quote that is a question. Uh, I don't know if I can answer this, but this is the only quote I could think of that was a question from my favorite movie. Um, definitely, why so serious? Uh, you know, Dark Knight. Love that quote. Why is so serious? You know, I love that. I love how Heath Ledger says it. I don't know if I can answer that. Uh, I don't know, but I, I do love that quote. And that's a great question quote. Alright, next person asks me, Sleepy Reader 666 asks me, Could you picture yourself as a comic book writer? Um, probably not. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like, even though I review, um, comics and, like, say, oh, what's wrong and bad about it or good about it, I don't think I could ever, um, write a comic. It's just, it's very hard. It is to, you know, do the pacing of a story, um, come up with all the stories. Got really plot it, you know? And for me, I, I always feel like I'm better at, um, like, um, because with, uh, my show from Mother Versus on, uh, 
my other YouTube channel, um, me and my brother write the show. So I don't think I could actually write that show by myself. I, I definitely like working with other people to write stuff. So I don't think I could be a comic book writer. Um, a next question from Sleepy Reader 666 is, do you collect older comics? Um, yes, I actually do. I do. Um, I do the back issue um, reviews. You've probably um, seen them before. I try to do some older comics. I have mostly from the 90s, I would say. But I do have, like, Amazing Spider-Man. I really like the old comics for that, and I do collect older comics. Um, even though I don't really have time to do on my show that many older comic reviews, but again, like, I love the back issue reviews that I do, that way I could do some of the older comic stuff. Alright, next question is from Vendettis, and he asks, if you, or she, um, if you were a superhero, what would your name be? What would you dress like? And what's your powers to be in weakness? Um, I, when I was little, I, I had, I created a superhero, it was, like, called Skateless, um, I don't remember what powers she had, but um, she she was uh, she had a skateboard or rollerblades or something, and um, I think it was like super strength, like all the all the superpowers you would want, like super strength, flight, like every superpower in the book I I, I would want to have. So definitely, that's that's the superhero I would want to be. Um, next person is Creed King, and he asks, should Spider Man have a sidekick? Um. I would say no. I feel like there's so many superheroes that have sidekicks. Not really in Marvel, but, like, in Marvel we have, like, um, Captain America with Bucky. But, um, you know, we have Batman and Robin. I felt like Spider-Man, I like his character because he is on his own, and I don't think he really needs a sidekick. Um, I just don't feel like he's a character that would really fit that. Um, second question from Creed King is, who is the best Robin? Um, for me, I love Tim Drake. I love him. Um, I think he's definitely close to Dick Grayson because I do like Dick Grayson a lot more than I used to. Um, but I feel like he's a better Nightwing than he is as Robin. So I think I would definitely say Tim Drake. Love his character. Love it. I, I Not in the New 52, but I love his character before that. Um, I do like Stephanie Brown's character, but she wasn't um, a Robin long enough to really um, say that she's my favorite. So definitely Tim Drake, 100%. Um, next question from Creed King is, would you prefer the Green Arrow TV show or a new Flash TV show? Um, I would love to see a new Flash TV show, um, if they do it right, but I like the Green Arrow TV show that's coming out. I think Stephen Amell is going to do a great job, and again, that's a show I'm excited to review in September, and, um, I, I, I love Green Arrow, so I, I, I definitely have to say... Green Arrow. Definitely, um, I think I would prefer the Green Arrow TV show, but again, I would love to see a Flash show also. Enough, uh, another question, actually, that's a question I already, already answered. Um, next question, last question, actually. Um, is Legend 1245X, what superhero shirt would you like to have that you don't own? Anything Spider-Man. I love my Spider-Man shirts. Um, I, I don't really, I, when I see the shirt, that's usually when I say, oh, I really like that, you know, but, um, I don't know, I don't have anything in mind that I would be like, oh, I really need this, you know. So definitely if I see it, I'd be like, oh, this looks awesome, you know, great shirt. Um, so those are all the questions from my first um, question and answer time video. If I didn't get to your questions that you asked, um, I probably made the video before you asked it. So I'll have it in the second question and answer time. And um, this is part two of the question and answer time. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was pretty long. And I'm so glad you guys asked me so many questions. Um, thank you so much. I'll have another one next month. Again, if, if you didn't have your questions answered, I'm sorry. It, again, it was probably posted after. So I'll have it in the second one. So guys, follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Rand Situations, which I did talk about a little bit in this video. Um, Follow me on Twitter for news about those videos. I hope you guys enjoyed, and this is Comic Uno. Bye, guys.